So what happens when the input that you're giving fillet edge doesn't mix well with the fillet edge tool? For example, the radius doesn't fit on a corner that you want it to fit on. Rhino will make an ugly fillet or fail completely or make an, an untrimmed object. So we can, with a preview in place, look at that as it happens and, and make changes. And this is where adding those handles and changing the handle radii as you go can help you negotiate a difficult situation. So in this case, I would like to put a radius 3 fillet along this whole top edge. So I'll start fillet edge, and I'll give it a next radius of 3, and I will ask for chaining edges, and it'll grab all those edges. Okay. And I'll go to the next stage, and if I look not very closely, but closely enough, <laughs> you can see that this very small radius on this edge kind of collided with the radius 3 fillet, and it didn't do a very good job here. It's, ju it's just too large to fit in that small radius. Okay, so at this point, you can either uh, bail completely and find out what that radius is, and that's probably what my inclination is to just escape and analyze radius on this edge. And you can see as you track along, if you watch down at the very bottom here in the status bar, you can see that that radius is a lot less than 3. It's probably around, looks like 2.24. Okay, so if I click there on the minimum radius, 2.1, in fact, is the radius that looks like it's about the smallest. So when I put a fillet edge on here, I have to be smaller than that number with my radius. So that doesn't work very well with a radius of 3. So what I'll do is start with a radius of 3 and then make some changes. Okay, so here's my radius of 3. We know that doesn't work. So what happens then if I add a handle that has a radius of 2 and I put it right on that small radius, right on the tip of that radius? Then suddenly the fillet can fit. Okay, so it's tapering slightly from 3 all the way to 2. In fact, we might even want to make it a little less than 2. And now my fillet wraps around cleanly. It's not radius 3 all the way. It has a taper from 3 to 2 and then back out to 3. If we need to hold that 3, I'm going to unlink my handles. we need to hold that 3, then we can copy this handle down a ways, like so, and like so, and there we get a constant 3, and then it starts to taper down to 2, hits 2 at that small, or, or even a little less than 2, 1.8, and then back out again. Okay? And these guys we can move around. so that we can hold, maybe we need to hold that 3 for a much longer period. We've got another object over here that has to match, something like that. We can hit Enter, 